Hello and welcome to this Partner Power broadcast on Dynamics Upgrade, looking at who can help you. This is a series of broadcasts on this topic of Upgrade, where we previously covered why it's important to think about Upgrade, what is new specifically in newer versions of Dynamics NAV, how to proceed with an actual Upgrade, and we'll now look at who can help me. Today I will be presenting to you, I am Klaus Søger Hill from Partner Power International, the Customer Care and License Manager here. Upgrade. So you've seen the, the first three broadcasts, so by now I'm sure you're saying, let's just do it. You've seen why it's important to think about Upgrade, the, you understand the pull and the push inherent in Upgrading. You've seen what specifically is new in newer versions that you should uh, think about implementing and, and, and achieving by upgrading. And you've, you've seen some best practice tools to understand the, the return you can get from doing an upgrade and the investment required to do that, as well as some best practice tools for the actual upgrade process itself. Now comes the important topic of who can help you on this journey because you're certainly not alone. There will be a helping hand along the way for this. And normally for, uh, to achieve an upgrade, I guess you would uh, rely on your gold card, your board smile and your charms. Or if you're very lucky to have a generous travel account, that also helps. But all joking aside, of course, for, for dynamics and upgrading in this context, the safe hands uh, that are there to help you are represented here by Partner Power International, who can help you understand the, the concept of upgrading, the options available to you, and we can help you manage the process. There's the local partner who helped deploy this solution originally, or that, are you, that is your support partner today, who has that deep, important knowledge of your solution and the local requirements and can take you through the, the actual upgrading itself. And both of us can rely on the best practice tools available to us from One Click Factory to, uh, to make very clear the, the steps required and to take us through the all important technical aspects of upgrading, especially the reports. Now, here is a small overview of the steps involved in, in uh, thinking about upgrading, get going, and uh, who can help you with those individual steps. Of course, first and foremost, you should start thinking about this. You should conceptualize what is an upgrade, what does it mean to you, what's the right timing, what's the right scope. And as part of that, you should understand, of course, what are your specific benefits? What's in it for you to do the upgrade, to get onto a newer version, to get onto a new platform? What, what return will you see, uh, both on added return on your initial investment and, and, the, and the time and money required to do the actual upgrade now? You need to understand what has changed in the meantime, both in terms of uh, market and regulatory requirements and, and new opportunities. And as part of that, of course, and consider in some detail what should you change, if anything, in a new setup. Can you take the solution further out into your organization, cover more business processes, or respond to some uh, some requirements or threats, maybe even that you have out there? Um, and this could be enable tablet use for your salespeople or your management. It could be uh, making sure you have the right setup for SEPA and cost accounting. There's a lot of stuff you can consider either to do together with an upgrade or at a later point in time. Then comes the actual uh, technical upgrade of the solution, of the platform, of the data, of the reports, uh, where you have to have some steady hands available to help you through that process in an effective and secure way. When the solution is there, it needs to be fine-tuned and polished uh, to to so that you can use it in the best way going forward. And of course, uh, to the extent necessary, depending on how big a step forward this is for you from where you're coming from, some training uh, might be required on the new new version or new aspects of the solution that are that are put to use here. And along the way, as you can see, there's plenty of expertise available for you uh, to help you in that process from Partner Power International and the local partners with the good help of One Click Factory. This is now the end of this series of broadcasts on the topic of upgrade. Having looked at why to consider upgrade, what's new, how to proceed, and who can help me, I encourage you to contact us at uh, customercareteam at partnerpower.biz 
for starting a discussion on this for your context. You're always very welcome to visit our homepage to see news there, and I recommend especially the, the Partner Power blog, where Henning Lund and myself and others from our organization regularly post news and, and thoughts on the dynamics world and, uh, and important steps for you uh, to consider there. One Click Factory also have some tools uh, that you can review and look at to get inspiration. And Microsoft, of course, has a, a trove of information available to you. I especially like the, the page where they offer uh, version comparisons so you can see what's new and how big a step is it really to go from one version to another. I encourage you to, to visit that one. And with that, thank you very much for attending this particular session and, and the whole series of sessions on Upgrade, Why, What, How, Who. Contact us at any time for, uh, for more discussion on this. Again, thanks for your time. See you out there.